commandment that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. Hello, everybody. This is my commandment that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. This is my commandment that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord with my mouth that I may With my mouth will I make known Thy thankfulness through all generations I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord <laughs> I get some words right, didn't I? Hey, let's do that um, a, a, a verse of uh, There is coming a day Kind of like that one on the mouth, Lord. kind of special aren't they because uh well we haven't seen each other for five days or four days something like that <laughs> so we welcome you here we're glad you joined us and yes what a day that's gonna be we're gonna sing are we gonna sing i think we're gonna sing talk and have some good times together mm. what was that joke that god got you oh yeah t t today ruth was cracking up about one something that joyce nett put on her facebook page it had a guy up front, uh, and the sign was the um, um, memory, memory Anonymous, Memory Loss Anonymous class or something like that. And he said, hi, I'm Carl, and I can't remember everything. Or hi, I'm Fred, and I can't remember everything, anything. And all the people said, hi, Carl. <laughs> they all had memory loss. Hey, that might work for us guys. We're glad you're here in this unrehearsed, unedited living room sing along with Mark and Ruth and we are down here or out here in Sheridan, Oregon where the weather was beautiful today. This afternoon I was out working on the car a little bit. Uh-oh, I heard two people say we're skipping. That's not a good sign or I saw it I should say. I heard. So are we all skipping tonight guys? Because uh, if we're skipping we might as well start over. What do you think Chris? You need to tell us. 
anyway, here we are. We're gonna do some. Let me let me sing one more song, and we'll see if it uh, see if it does any skipping for you guys. Let me see what's another song we can sing. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And we offer up to you the sacrifices of thanksgiving. And we offer up to you the sacrifices of joy. All right, it doesn't look like it's skipping to most of you guys, so we're going to go on. What do we got, hon? Okay, we're going to start with the children's songs. we got quite a line up here. We're going to wait a little bit. Let's wait and make sure that Christine and her hubby... Oh, are they in? Okay, well, Christine, uh, Shuffle, you said something about your husband, I think it is, Mr. Ken. And he is ha or he had his 89th birthday. Woohoo! You're getting close to pushing 90 there, Ken. Getting as old as me. As old as I look, anyway. <laughs> 89th birthday. This is for Ken. Happy birthday to you. Ken. Happy birthday to you. Ken. Happy birthday, dear Ken. Happy birthday to you. We had to do that pretty early on because, you know, old people fall asleep halfway through the show. <laughs> Halfway through the sing along, or, yeah, or we forget to sing, or halfway. old people forget to sing "Happy Birthday." That's right. <laughs> of course, the other thing is, I fall asleep a lot too. Right now, I'm sleeping like crazy. My wife said she's kind of concerned about how much I sleep. I fall asleep. I sit down on the couch. I'm out. So, mm. ah, woo! All right, popcorn. Good to see you here. All right, kids. I did. did I, I, I blew it, didn't I? Did not? No, I didn't. Maybe not. Might want to pull out stool up here, Mr. Popcorn, so you can sit down. Hey, you're on my head. Get out of here. <laughs> down, doggy, down. <laughs> How you doing, Popcorn? <laughs> they can't better. see your head. You're going to be, your face is cut off. There you go. Yeah, or putting that stool up there and sit down. That might work for you the best. That stool is pretty nice and comfy. Mom got us some new bars to wash. She got them for Christmas from her husband. She asked, I asked her what she wants for Christmas, and she wanted some smaller ones. We had some big ones with backs on them, if you remember. And she thinks these are more comfy. Hey, they look. Hey, you look pretty good there, popcorn. Perfect. Anyway, what do we got? Requests for the kids. Kids, this is for you. Zero to ninety-nine. Okay, Brianna requested "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star." All right, Brianna. This Brianna. is for Brianna. The twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder which. Up above the sky so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Good song, Brianna. Lots of stars Brianna. up there, Brianna. <laughs> I say that because her mom told me that's how you pronounce uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, mom. Sorry. Brianna. <laughs> okay. So, Kimberly, who's two, requested this little light of mine. All right, Popcorn, we got motions on this one. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I don't wanna let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. Never ever. I'm gonna let it shine. Uh -uh. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine till 
Jesus comes, umbrella let it shine, let it shine till Jesus comes, umbrella let it shine, let it shine till Jesus comes, umbrella let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen. Let that little light shine. Woo. Okay, Trinity requested. Song this one for a while. I've got a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have a love of Jesus in my heart. Understanding down in my heart, where down in my heart, where down in my heart, I have the peace that passes understanding down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I have a love of Jesus in my heart. Amen. Woo. Okay. Got a lot to sing about. Landon requested only a boy named David. Oh, I wonder how popcorns do all them motions. Only a boy named David. I don't know if we've ever done this one on the kids sing along, did we? Only a boy named David. Only a little sling. Only a boy named David. Giant came a tumbling down. <laughs> there goes popcorn. I see your foot, popcorn. What happened to your paw? <laughs> ah, good job there. Good job. <laughs> Somebody said they had their little girl who was having a or had a turn five the turn other day. Five, and she wants Jesus love. Oh, Jesus. well, we can do okay. that. We can do that one. That was for co was that Coco 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 serve Troy or something like that? Yeah. Maybe. Their daughter. Their daughter, yeah, okay. This is for you, daughter. Whoops. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Jesus loves the little children. Is it Jesus loves little ones like me? Me, not that one. No, no. Jesus, Jesus loves, loves little children. And, and, and is that many shades from uh, many? Sh oh, we better just sing the up from light to dark. Many shades of brown. Ah, I don't know that one. 
There's different verses and words to that we learned that I actually like better. But we'll sing it the way we learned it when we were kids. Jesus, let me try it a little higher. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white. They are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus died for all. Precious in his sight, Jesus died for all the children of the world. Amen. And that he did, kids. Thank thank you for Jesus for yeah. Thank Jesus for dying on the cross for all of our sins, for loving us the way he does, from the moment we're conceived, even before he knew who you were gonna be, and he had a plan for you. He has a plan for your life. Mm. Well, popcorn, I think you best blow that old whistle if you want to. Can you blow? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Popcorn can't blow the whistle. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, popcorn. Thanks for coming, kids. That train sounds a little different. Oh, it's because of how I was holding my hand over there. You can make different pitches with this whistle by holding certain ones of them still. Anyway, something like that. Uh, yes, yes, Ruth, uh, Lester Weber, you're right. We need to be in prayer, in special prayer for our country. Wednesday's going to be a big day, the way it looks. All right, where are we going next, hon? Okay, so we had a really long list tonight, so I don't think Ooh, we'll get through them all. But won't anyway, get through them all. Are you sure? We'll do them tomorrow night if we all don't. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, guys, we're already apologizing. <laughs> what you got, hon? Thank you, Ed and Bonnie Byler, for the uh, one airplane and the car. I've been trying to put the airplane together. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's been painting on it today. He had a little mishap with it. He, we got the glue out, and one of them was white, or the paint, and he was starting to paint, and one was white, and he started using it. He said, wait a minute. There's GLU there. That means GL. glue. GL. Or GL. <laughs> so, so he was putting glue on the plane for a while, but we, we, got, we caught on pretty quick on that one. Anyway, here we go. Okay, Claudia and Howard Wilson requested greater things than these. Ah, this is a story about Nathaniel out there. You know, when Jesus gets out there and Nathaniel's gotcha. like, What? This guy knew me. This Nazarite knew me. And, and um, you know, what good could come from Nazareth? You know, Nathaniel might have been a little bit of a racial guy there. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, Jesus, Jesus said, Hey, you think that's great that I knew you? You wait. You follow me and I'll show you greater things. Anyway, that's what uh, got this song going. Jesus was walking along the shores one day, teaching his disciples and showing them the way. He saw Nathaniel. Was amazed. Nathaniel was amazed that Jesus knew him there and willingly he came. And Jesus said, You'll see greater things than these if you only follow me and believe. The brokenhearted healed and the captive set free. For my father. Savior, His promises are true. He'll save and keep you, and He will see you safely through. And Jesus said, You'll see greater things than these if you 
in that song. I jumped the chord, uh, went up the D in the second verse. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, Naomi Halteman requested Here Kitty Kitty, Daniel and the Lion's Den. Back on that subject of that song a little bit, just if I may, one of the things that we get amazed by as God's people are miracles of healing, physical healing, and that is right to do that by the Lord. But you know what is really amazing is that Jesus somehow made that us sinners can come and have a new birth, can be born again, and can live, be filled with the Spirit and live like that. That's amazing, isn't it? And to see that happen in people's lives is, I still think, is one of the greatest testimonies of the whole gospel of Jesus Christ. So let's live like we live like we believe, right? Daniel in the lion's dead, oh boy. In the book of Daniel, there's a story to be told. A little Hebrew boy who was 14 years old He was taken from his home and marched to Babylon But in his heart he knew his God would help him carry on Well he threw Daniel in the lion's den There was no way out Well Daniel didn't scream and Daniel didn't holler And Daniel didn't even shout He prayed God heard his prayer, he closed the lion's mouth, they only heard a stare. That cat, I'm allergic to that cat. Here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, kitty. Her for me, kitty. <laughs> nice, kitty. It's a little bigger than that, that Trevor. To a Still land kitty. of plenty rolled by a mighty king. Daniel and his friends were taken there, it seems. When the king said bow, but Daniel stood tall. When the lion saw an angel, he coughed up a fur ball. <laughs> well, he threw Daniel in the lion's den, and there was no way out. Well, Daniel didn't scream, Daniel didn't holler, and Daniel didn't even shout. He prayed to God heard his prayer, he closed the lion's mouth, they only heard his stare. Well, here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, kitty. Her for me, kitty. Nice kitty. The king had many dreams and he asked what they were told. His people could not answer, but Daniel grew bold. With his awesome God, his answer he would find A statue made of nations and a king that lost his mind Well, they threw Daniel in the lion's den When there was no way out but Daniel didn't scream, Daniel didn't holler And Daniel didn't even shout He prayed to his God and God heard his prayer Closed the lion's mouth, he only heard a snare That cat does not want to be on camera, Trevor. <laughs> and she's not near as big as the lions. <laughs> she's still a cat. She's still a cat. Just from the different... Especially the way we say here, kitty, kitty, right? <laughs> By the way, uh, it's not Mark's birthday today. His birthday is not till February 23rd. But three years ago, we celebrated it 
over a month early. It's her to fault. Surprise him. She did it on purpose because she thought she was afraid I'd find it out if I, if they wait to do it till my birthday. Hey, Dad. If we're, we're talking about what Ruth put on her memories from three years ago, and oh my goodness, yeah, it was the biggest surprise I had in my life. It was awesome. Yeah. Tell them the painting I'm doing to color. What? On the plane, tell them what color I'm doing. He's coloring the plane white and blue. Right? Air Force One. Oh, that way. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Moving right along. Lyndon, Lyndon Reinford requested, Tis so sweet to trust in Thanks you. for sending these requests, Lyndon. Tis so sweet. We're going to go to the key of D, I think. <clears throat> Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus just to Take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know the saith the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh for For joining Living Room Sing Along, get your bowl of popcorn, kick off your shoes, and sit down and be comfortable. Let's worship together. Thank you for all the requests you sent in, too. <clears throat> okay. Linda Miller requested if I could hear my mother pray again. I'll remember that song. Well, I'll tell you, the other day we were going through, I was I just sat down and felt like singing. I almost came on and sang with you guys Sunday afternoon. I thought, ah, I don't want to mess with you. But um, um the little country western. I started going through that song. There's a lot of song book, songs we still don't know, with even with all these songs, or we still haven't sung. I mean, that we know. It's amazing. Anyway, if I could hear my mother pray again, how's that go? Ooh, well, you have the alto line there. We haven't done this one for a while, baby cakes, but we, we can do it. Did, Maybe never. So how sweet, how sweet and happy seem the days of. And happy sing the days. Oh man, I don't know this song, baby. I just it's a You know it. Okay, okay, let's take it way down. You do the melody. Do so if I could hear Go ahead. If I could hear that You know Where are you starting? Right here. Oh how sweet. I'm sorry. Ooh, I got guy. How sweet and happy sing. Girl, got it. And with what rapture speaks, my weary heart would be if I could hear my mother pray again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then I would have to sing that one. If I could hear my for tonight. Oh man, you did so good on the verse though. So I should, well, do you know the alto line there know, then? Maybe. Yeah, only, that's what I was missing. Yeah, you were missing the yeah. But I don't know if I knew this printer part. I could, I do. You take the, you take the, take the alto. No, we're really low though. We're really low. Yeah. I could only hear. 
that's too low. So that's, that's too low. yeah, yeah. They, oh man, it would. Well, we'd have to start in G. If I could. I could hear my mother pray again. How sweet and happy seemed the days in which I dreamed. When memory recalls him now and then. And with what rapture sweet my weary heart would be. If I could hear my mother Facebook that said, when his mother prayed, woo, he said, brother, you just step back, you know, and I remember, I'll tell you, my mama praying too, when uh, we had family devotions and daddy wasn't home, she would lead in prayer, and uh, yeah, I'll tell you, the fervency of the prayer, the beauty of that, Mark Lowry once said he was laying on his bed one day, and his mama came in, he was a young kid, and he was ADD and all that, and and uh, he was always felt like he was causing trouble, and his mama came in, and laid her hand and said, Lord, if, if you know that Mark Lowry's not going to walk with you when he grows up, take him home now. <laughs> and Mark's like, Mom, God hears your prayers. I mean, this was a lady whose prayers were answered. <laughs> Sorry that I had to learn that, but thanks, Ruth, for teaching it to me. <laughs> I don't recall ever having sung that before, but maybe oh, I did really? or played it. Okay. I forget a lot of things, though. <laughs> Susanna Griffith requested, what a friend we have in I think we sang this before Susanna. <laughs> I do know this one, yep. <laughs> All right. What a friend we have in Jesus. I think we'll do this in the key of D. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. Miller and
and Christine Scheffel requested Little David. All right, the battle's not mine. We keep reminding ourselves. We gotta remind ourselves of that. If we think we have to win our battles by ourselves, woo, wretched people we be. The battle's not mine, said Little David. Lord, it's thine. shook off all of his load for with the power of God he was clothed he said the battle's not mine I give it to you Lord it's thine now little David unafraid before the giant he stood that day it seems it'll be Like the lion and the bear he slew. Well, oh, Goliath will come down too. For the battle's not mine, I give it to you. Lord, it's thine. The battle's not mine, said little David. Lord, it's thine, I'm in your favor. I've given it all to you. I do not want to do, and I'm so glad you. Has a record of getting things done. He said the battle's not mine. I give it to you, Lord. It's thine. The battle's not mine, said little David. Lord, it's thine. I'm in your favor. I've given it all to you. I do not want to do, and I'm so glad you let me. to the Lord and leave it there, right? Oh, there's another song. These songs keep popping in my mind, but we're going to go with requests. <laughs> mm. We would anyway. <clears throat> Got so many of them. I love it. Hey, Crip Trap. I am missing a handkerchief. Uh, you don't hear me. You want a hanky? Yeah, have you got one there? I need a There is that. Okay, Kleenex? Yeah. There you go. Need more? First time I ever blew my nose in, <laughs> or wiped my nose in. In the living room sing along, okay. isn't it? Okay, Judith Freeman requested, and can it be? And can it be? What? Do we know this song, honey? Who asked Judith? Where'd you come up with this one? <laughs> it's a good song. And is that D? Yeah, yeah. And can it be? Oh, how's it What's with me tonight? I'm messed up. Amazing love. 
it's not the way this it's is written. Not this one. No, that's what it wrong. is. Wrong. It's the wrong tune. But do we know the other tune? Because it might be the same words. No, it's not. Well, because the chorus isn't even. Oh yeah. I should. Oh my God. Is that the one you're thinking of? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's. it's not I'm not sorry. One. This is not the uh, right copy. No wonder it doesn't <coughs> sound right for me. Not the right music there. I thought I knew that song. Um, Say so you. You can see who reads music and who doesn't. <laughs> well, it's not that. I, yeah, I sort of read music. I guess I do. Who was that for? Judith Fee Freeman. I'm sorry about that. We'll have to get that some other time if we can. <laughs> oh my. You might okay. Want to it again so we don't What's forget. the matter, Anna? Is is Fanny not doing good? Okay. What do we got? Okay. Sandra Miller requested looking for a city in memory of her daughter who passed away 25 years ago. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that, Sandra. Yes, looking for a city is a good song for that, isn't it? Ay, ay, ay. In the key of, you guessed it, D. In, oh, that's verse 3. Where is verse 1? There we go. Sorry. Here among the shadows of a lonely land, we're a band of pilgrims on the moon, burdened down with sorrow, shot on every hand, looking for a city built above. Looking for a city, that's your part, isn't it? She was up in heaven. She said, oh, look at that guy. He hurts me. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Rose Martin requested Boundless Love. Rose Martin. Boundless Love. What a beautiful song. Cathedrals remind. They did such a good job of this one, I think. There is not a mother, sister, friend, or brother loves the way that Jesus can. He proved his love for me when he died on wants to love you there is none above you you are precious in his sight he will never fail you when the doubts assail you he'll be with you day and night his love is a boundless love and it reaches down and touches me
your start your fire, your wood's wet. <laughs> Don't want your fire. <laughs> oh boy, I had to think of George Young. So I did that little Dutch's me for, for George, yeah, in honor of Brother George. <laughs> okay, Rose Mar oh no wait, Sally Hostetler requested I've got a man. I'll tell you something about George. I don't know of any MC that I was that I liked as much as George. And he, from his heart, he would share. And he'd have you crying one minute and laughing the next. Just a, yeah, just a gifted, a gifted MC there. Anyway, so we're going to go to I've Got a Mansion. I'm satisfied, see, just a cottage below. A little silver and a little gold. But in that city where the ransom will shine, feel should be for the Lord because you're my bread when I'm hungry but, but I like, one, there, I yeah yeah there, there's one it, there's a there's a version for the Lord anyway this is for this is our love song tonight right? all right we always like to sing a love song and you know why because we think that God made the gift of marriage and we cherish it and honor it tonight I think we'll put it in the key of D you play school brought love like I've never known. You gave life to our children and to be a reason to go Best friend, 
of the auctioneer. Wait a minute, let's do this one first. We'll do which one first? Uh, Claire Zimmerman requested the truck truck version of the truck Life is Like version a Mountain. Of Life is Like a Mountain. Boy, that is some dark writing on there, honey. We'll see. It, it was it was photocopied and everything. <laughs> and uh, we printed it out that way. All right, so let's try it. It's the trucker's version of Life is Like a Mountain Railroad. So I can't blow the... the well, you, 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 can, you can blow this. Does this sound like an air horn? I don't know. <laughs> That's how air horns sound. They're loud. Woo! Anyway, all right. Life is like a mountain highway. Come on, truckers! With the trucker that is brave, you must make this run successful from the crane. Watch the curves, the hills, the tunnels. Carefully transport the load. Keep your foot upon the throttle pedal and your eye upon the road. Blessed Savior, you will guide us till we reach eternal land where our days. Hey, these are for fun songs tonight. My brother Chris is a trucker, so I sang that for you, Butch, tonight. And, uh, of course, Galen and Stephen Nisley. And, oh, my but, goodness. Nelson <laughs> Good. I think there's a whole bunch of truckers out there. Is Nelson Good a trucker? Anyway, there's a bunch of you guys that are truckers. And so thank you for delivering the goods and uh, getting home to and loving your wife and kids and being faithful to them the way you are. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. This is an auctioneer song. Where's my hat at, Trevor? Where's my farming hat? <laughs> Can't find it? All right, we'll sing without it. Leroy Van Dyke did this song. I love it. Remember going to the auction barns? Here we go. Well, there was a boy in Arkansas who wouldn't listen to his mom. She told him that he should go to school. 
He'd sneak away in the afternoon, take a little walk, and pretty soon you'd find him at the local auction barn. He'd step and listen carefully, till pretty soon he began to see how the auctioneer could talk so rapidly. He said, oh my, it's do or die, I gotta learn that I should cry, I gotta make my mark and be an auctioneer. Third and out of it and out of four and out of it and out of fifty dollars and out of fifty five, sixty five, I'll lose it, but I give it to sixty five dollar D. Sixty five out of seventy, now seventy out of eighty, now eighty, now ninety, now eighty five, ninety, now four, now a hog for the eighty five dollar bid. Well, as time went on, he did his best and all could see he did it just. Practice calling bids both night and day. His pop would find him behind the barn just to work it up an awful storm as he tried to imitate the auctioneer. His dad said, Son, we just can't stand to have a mediocre man. Some things that the auction use in our good name. I'll send you off to the auction school and then you'll be nobody's fool. And you can take your place among the best. Third of bidding, not a fool. Not a bit, not a bit, not a bit, not a six dollar bit, not a who's it gonna give me the sixty five dollar D? Sixty five out of seventy, not seventy five, eighty now, eighty five, ninety nine, ninety five, one hundred now. So that I hope for the ninety dollar bid. So from that boy who went to school, there grew a man who played it cool. He came back home, a full fledged auction and people came from the miles around just to hear him make his rhythmic sound, filled their hearts with such. Happy cheer. His fame spread out from shore to shore. He had all he could do and more. Had to buy a plane to get around. Now he's the best in all the land. Let's pause and give this man a hand. He's the best of all the auctioneers. Third out of bid, out of forty, out of bid, out of fifty, out of bid, out of fifty, out of sixty, out of who's gonna give me sixty five dollars? Sixty five out of seven, out of seven, out of eight, out of eight, out of nine, out of eight, out of nine. Alright, what we got lot 129, bring him out, walk him on boys. 30, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, uh, almost, yeah, almost. Well, almost 20 years. Let's put it that way. And uh, she did never, she never really appreciated the smell, and she didn't complain about it though. But I worked hard at keeping that smell off of me. But boy, I couldn't do it. Strawberry shampoo, all that stuff. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving right along. Okay, Matt Schrag requested Far Side Banks of Jordan. Oh, this. <laughs> Far Side Banks of Jordan. Oh boy. I'm going to have to go through your list before we start singing. We're yeah, gonna, we're going to have to skip that. I'll be wasting your time learning it, that one, guys. Sorry about that. It's a good song though, Matt. I know, I know. You guys are gonna have to stop picking songs I don't know. You're picking on me tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. Sing along, that's what it is, right? If you'd be here, you could sing it for me. Oh, poor, I wish you could be. All right. Okay, uh, Joanna Yotze requested Master of the Tempest is crazy. Ooh, <clears throat> well, yeah, this anyway. Might be a train wreck. <laughs> we, this might be a train wreck. <laughs> Master of the Tempest is raging. The billows are tossing high. The sky is o'ershadowed with blackness. No shelter of help is nigh. Carest thou not that we perish? How canst thou lie asleep? When each moment go madly is threatening, a grave in the angry deep. Shall obey my will. Peace be still, peace be still. Whether the storm of the storm shall see, or demons, or men, or whatever it be, no matter can swallow the ship where lies the master of ocean and earth and skies. They all shall sweetly obey my will. Peace be 
up and we're going to sing an a cappella. There are chord, chord succession in there that I would love to learn just because I want to learn it. But we're going to sing it in A and we're going to sing it without the guitar and stuff. Let's see how that goes. Master, the terror is over, the elements sweetly rest. Earth's sun in the calm lake is mirrored, and heaven's within my breast. Linger, O oh blessed Redeemer, leave me alone no more. And with joy I shall make the blessed arbor, and rest on that safe foot shore. The winds and the waves shall obey my will. Peace be still, whether the wrath of the storm cloud sea, or demons, or men, or whatever it be, no water can swallow the ship where lies the master of ocean and earth and skies. They all shall sweetly obey my will. Peace be still, peace be still, they all shall sweetly obey my will. Peace, peace, be still. There you go. I'm trying to put chords in there at the same time uh, as I'm singing. Well, it can be done if it's easy. <laughs> it's old Dutch it only went so far. <laughs> okay. Mary Elaine Mosier requested In the Sweet in Bye and Bye. In the Sweet Bye and Bye. A lot of songs about heaven again tonight. And that's good. That's good. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the pretty song how you sang that um uh song on uh, facebook by yourself there <clears throat> when the roll in the key of d when the trumpet of the lord shall sound and time shall be no more and the morning breaks eternal Oh, no. 
That's the drummer's fault right there. <laughs> okay, Kathy Plank requests I'll Fly Away. Miss Kathy, whoa! It looks like Beachy. Paul Beachy yeah. or Paul Peachy. No, it's Beachy. Yeah, right. Anyway, Paul. It's Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Love this song. Jesus signed my pardon, and now we don't have to go to death. I was, let me see, we better go up a little bit with that one. Uh, let's go up to the key of D. I was in sin's prison, oh so dark and cold, just a lost sheep wandering from God. I surely know He took my place on Calvary Now I don't have to go All my life I give him He gave his for me When he signed my pardon There on Calvary Life is now worth living Since he set me free I'm glad he was willing to save a wretch like me. Now I have a mansion, not a prison wall. Jesus signed my It is well. It is well. Mrs. Bailey? Is she the same Bailey that was on the, um, the, the what's that, Christmas movie? It's a Wonderful Life, George Bailey? <laughs> All right. It is well with my soul. In the key of C. You got the wrong one there. 
but that's okay. We can sing it by memory. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrow like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. about reading this uh, thing but I guess I better not know uh, okay, maybe we should just read sing one more song and read that thing to wrap up or read mm -hmm. can we do that right. all right let's do um, mm -hmm. the next one's fine put your hand in the hand okay okay yeah guys there's a lot of uh, challenges facing us as usual and uh, that's what the, you know um, that's okay but to somebody had and I forget I wish so bad I would have remembered I should have really put down who wrote this, but somebody shared this that had been written by somebody else, and I'd like to just take the time to read it. It's really um, a good message for all of us, and then we'll wrap up with put your hand in the hand. So there was a blind girl who hated herself because she was blind. She hated everyone except her loving boyfriend. He was always there for her. She told her boyfriend, if I could only see the world, I will marry you. One day, someone donated a pair of eyes to her. When the bandages came off, she was able to see everything, including her boyfriend. He asked her, now, what can, now that you can see the world, would you marry me? The, lady looked at her, the girl looked at her boyfriend and saw that he was blind. The sight of his closed eyelids shocked her. She hadn't expected that. The thought of looking at him the rest of her life led her to refuse to marry him. Her boyfriend left her in tears and days later wrote a note to her saying, Take good care of your eyes, my dear, for before they were yours, they were mine. This is how the human brain often works. When our status changes, often only a few remember what life was like before and who was always on their side in the most painful situations. Today, before you say an unkind word, think of someone who can't speak. Before you complain about the taste of your food, think of someone who has nothing to eat. Before you complain about your husband and wife, think of someone who's crying to God for a companion. Today, before you complain about life, think of someone who went too early to heaven. Before you complain about your children, think of someone who desires children but they're barren. Before you argue about your dirty house someone didn't clean or sweep, think of people who are living in the streets. Before whining about the distance you drive, think of someone who walks the same distance with their feet. And when you are tired and complain about your job, think of the unemployed, the disabled, and those who wish they had your job. But before you think of pointing your finger or condemning another, remember that not one of us is without sin, and we all answer to our Maker. And when depressing thoughts seem to get you down, put a smile on your face and thank God you're alive. And then it says, please copy and paste and move on. I just felt like reading that. Isn't that neat? Uh, anyway, so whatever we're going through, put your hand in the hand of the man, right? 
Put your hand in the head of the man who steals the water. Put your hand in the head of the man who calmed the sea. Take a look at yourself and you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Every time I look into the holy book, I want to tremble. When I read about the part where the carpenter cleared the temple, for the buyers in the sellers, we found different fellows than what I profess to be. And it causes me shame to know I'm not the guy that I should be. So put your hand in the hand of the man who still the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man who calmed the sea. Take a look at yourself and you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. My mama taught me how to pray before I reached the age of seven. And when I'm down on my knees, that's a when I'm close to heaven. Daddy lived his life with four kids and a wife, and you do what you must do. But he showed me enough of what it takes to get you through. So put your hand in the hand of the man to steal the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man. Take a look at yourself and you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Amen. Thank you for joining us in the living room sing along. Oh boy, I had a comment or two I wanted to make. One of them I do want to make is we did not stop for any of the prayer requests tonight. Uh, and there were a few and I, I apologize about that. But it's kind of hard to catch them in time to do that. So um, the ones that were mentioned and we that we don't uh, pray for tonight, well, the Lord knows who they were. So uh, let's let's pray. Heavenly Father, tonight we thank you that you are the one who stilled the waters. Matter of fact, Lord, uh, just thinking about the storm, you had so much peace about you that you slept in the storm, dear Jesus. And then you calmed the storm and uh, you showed us how to live life here on this earth. We thank you for that, Jesus. We thank you for Holy Spirit, that you come and you guide us and you fill us and you direct our paths. And Father God, tonight you heard, you saw the prayer requests. You know who they are. And we just lift them up to you, Father. For those struggling with COVID, we pray for healing. For those who lost loved ones, we pray for comfort, Lord God. For those struggling with other illnesses, Father God, we ask for healing as well. You are the God of the impossible. And yes, Lord, for our country, we pray for healing. That you would uh, bring... bring peace to our nation so that we can get along with each other in a way that glorifies you. Father, if that's your will, and we know that Satan needs to be defeated, Lord, and we know that you have a plan on how to do that, and we want to be part of that plan, Father, and that we we uh, we honor you, we serve you until you return. Bless each one tonight, Father, who was in this living room sing-along with your presence. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Apologize for having to sneeze in the middle of my prayer. <laughs> uh, maybe that was... No, never mind. <laughs> God bless you. Thanks for coming.